Hey everyone, it's Mike from Drive80.com. Today we're going to make After Effects non-scary and talk about the puppet tool. Uh, this this little pins up here that we're going to just briefly go over. Now it's a pretty complex tool. If you're going to do some real um, advanced animating, this one I would stay away from. But since you're starting off, I want to show you what it is because it can add some small detail, which is pretty cool, uh, depending on what you're looking for. So we're going to hit Command N. And you can pause the video to get these settings and just you know, set up your comps this way by doing that by hitting pause now. And now you hit unpause and we're back in it. Here we go. We're going to just get something on to the comp, which so we get uh, the square, you hit Q. Again, you can go through all the shapes this way. And, uh, let's get the star. So we're going to draw the star here. I'm going to move it down. I'm also going to get this anchor point to go right there. Cool. Now we're going to add the uh, puppet tool. So we're going to do command P to get the pin. And we're going to add a point here. Now without the puppet tool, you can kind of, eh, you can like mess with the path and the points and things like that. You know, you can, this is some cool stuff you can do with the star and, you know, all these things. You can move the position around and the radius and a lot of cool things you can do this way, but you don't get to, you can't really bend it or anything like that. And what I want to do and show you with the puppet tool is that you're going to be able to do all that. So let me delete this and do this again. We're going to, instead of dragging, I'm actually, I'm going to double click because that seems to be the fastest way to get the point right in the dead center. And I'm going to scale it down a bit by hitting S and just scaling it down. There we go. Now we're going to hit command P to get the puppet tool. Going to, oops, we're going to then, oops, let me shift command A. All right, we're going to pin a little point here. And if I select that, once my cursor turns this, you know, white arrow, I'm going to move it around. So you can't really, it's not really doing much until you do another point. So let's do another point here. And now if I bend it, it's going around, it's moving around this point. So let me do another point. Let me go here. And then you'll start to see that, oh, now we've got some cool movement. Now, what can you do with this? The sky's the limit. You can have a dancing star for on loop for 10 seconds if you are giving, if you're trying to get someone's attention on Facebook or whatever, have a dancing star. Or maybe you give it some legs and it's just like, yay, yay, it's kicking out. I'm a star, I'm a star. And you can have it animate where it's, you know, doing this crazy stuff. So when you animate it, let's say if that's what you wanted to do, you come down here and hit E to get the puppet and then uh, open up all of these points and then we're going to just play with this one right here. So we're gonna put this one down. All right, so now the position tool. Now since I know the position tool is, or the, I'm sorry, the position, uh, it's, uh, blah, 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 blah. I call it tool. So as long as the position's there, the keyframe's there, then I'm gonna hit U because it's going to show me all of the, there we go, okay. It's going to show me all the points where I've got keyframes. And since I messed around these other points, it added these keyframes here, which is fine. But even if I erase these key points, and I think, if I remember this correctly, yeah, so pinpoint four is here. So if I just like deselect this and this and this, it doesn't get rid of them. It just makes it so they can't be moved. So if I hit U, it'll just bring this up. So there's less stuff going on here. I hope that made sense. Let's say we're going to dance. So I'd move my um, time indicator over here. I'd kick it up. I'd come over here a little bit, kick it down, and then kick it up again. And since I think the time I'm making this video, the holidays are upon us. So maybe this looks like the can-can down and then maybe it's like shoots like way off the screen and it looks weird. So I hit N and I hit control zero to render preview. So it'll just take a time to fill in all these green areas here to get that information. And now it's going to play it. So maybe that's what you want your video to look like. And you have this on Instagram with some captions in the description that are, this is going along with what that's, you know, with what your call to action is or why you're stopping people to talk to them. And they see a star that's, being all freaking weird. But I move them down and then I hit N here. So maybe we can speed it up a little bit. And there you go. And then you're going to have a star that's going to just kind of kick and dance and kick and dance, you know, whatever it's going to be. And that's it. 
But um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much just the, the very basics of the puppet tool. Uh, I don't really use it all that much. I've had a couple times where I've done a logo animation and I've, you know, had to wiggle some ears or something like that. But other than that, I mean, I'm usually, if I was going to really break this thing up, I'd have all these be different pieces so I can have complete control and things like that. But sometimes you don't need to get so advanced and it, you know, just playing around with some of these is good enough. But um, yeah, so play around with it, and then um, you can email me at uh, mike at drive80.com and show me what you did. Uh, send me a, send me a YouTube link and say, hey man, like this is this is what I do with this. And this looks like really crappy. Let me just, I don't know, I'm a stickler for design sometimes. Um, let me just, <laughs> sorry, this is like the designer in me. Okay, even though this font sucks. Let me get a new one. There we go whatever um yeah so if you have any questions let me i'm still styling this this is hilarious uh let's make it white all right um if you have any questions let me know just email me mike at drive com. ask any questions you want i also do private lessons if you want to book me for that if not uh um you can also hire us to do think these things for you by going to drive com and checking out the explainer videos that we do they're a little bit more robust and if you have a pretty, pretty decent sized budget we can help you out if you have no budget at all then most likely these videos will be helpful for you to learn it and do it on your own because at the end of the day I'm, I'm doing these this I'm, I'm making these videos because I don't think that people should be paying I don't think that people need to pay a ton of money to get something that's very easy especially something like that where you can get charged a couple hundred dollars just to do something like that when you could just do it yourself and yeah so again uh, also, comment anywhere, uh, add, any, add any comments um, with any questions or tag someone or share with someone who would get, some, you know, get a benefit out of this video. And that is it. Thank you. Keep on, keep on, keep on.